Hey, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And we have an interesting knife in this uh, edition. This is the Okada Shirogami or White Number 2 Takobiki, or you could say Takohiki, 260mm knife. Uh, so, very interesting blade. We'll talk more about it, but uh, there's some cool stuff on the web page as well. So, this has a, a three layer construction. The middle has the hard core steel of Shirogami or White Paper Number no. 2, reactive high carbon steel. Heat treat should be in the 61, maybe 62 Rockwell range. I'm kind of guessing at that. There's nothing on the site about it, but that's kind of typically maybe 63. That's kind of typically where they shoot for. The construction is. All reactive, there's no stainless or semi-stainless or anything on this, but it's got a Damascus or layered iron, reactive iron, soft iron cladding over the top of that Shirogami on either side. So it's a three-layer construction, or I should say kind of a sandwich construction. Uh, the cladding looks like it is either etched or maybe sandblasted, frosted, maybe a combination. And then you can see they've got a nice kind of polish natural kind of polish to the uh, edge core steel peeking out there. Um, so this style of blade, I think taco means octopus, so this is technically an octopus blade. And it's got this interesting curve to the spine that results from the quenching process and the differential hardening to get that curve kind of a la katana sword construction in blacksmithing. And you've got a similar type of uh, tip on it here, end point. So really cool knife. What's also very unique about this, it's double bevel. It is not a single bevel knife. So it's got a 50, basically 50-50 grind. And you've got that uh, kind of thicker spine and then a real hard edge here delineating the blade road, uh, the grind on either side going down to the uh, edge. So double bevel, very unusual. The weight and dimensions might vary a little bit from sample to sample on these or knife to knife. So this particular one is 168 grams or 5.9 ounces. The edge length is about 260 millimeter, which is measured from here uh, where the turn is at the tip to the back of the heel and about 10 and a quarter inches overall length about uh, 4 and 8 millimeters or 16 inches for the whole thing. The spine thickness, I measured it back a little bit of uh, coming out of the handle above the back of the blade about three and a half millimeters and I measured halfway down it's so about three and a quarter and pretty much holds that it might thin out just a tad towards the front uh, where the grind kicks in but uh, not a whole lot um, so it maintains quite a bit of stiffness as you go height is about 28 and three quarter millimeters of the back of the blade handle interestingly enough being a double bevel is a right hand oriented d-shaped handle uh it doesn't say but this really looks like rosewood to me it could be walnut but it sure looks like rosewood with a black pack of wood uh ferrule on it nice fit and finish on the handle really smooth nice touches tight install on the tang uh so uh you know well done on that so balance point is about right there Let's get our nice beauty shot here. This is a very cool looking knife. It's got a lot of uh, aesthetic appeal to it. So it, uh, as you can pretty much see, it's got that frosted, possibly etched finish that I mentioned on both sides. Very nice fit and finish on this. Uh, you've got hand chiseled kanji on the right side of the blade. Uh, so you've got some Nice engraving there. You can really feel that when you run your fingers across it. They've relieved the spine a little bit. It's kind of got the same uh, finish as the edge steel peeking out. So not super polished, but nice job on it. You've got a little bit of polish and a little bit of relief on both sides of the choil. Out of the box, um, I'd say maybe 5 out of 10. So it wasn't super sharp. You'll probably want to put your own edge on this and tweak it a little bit. Uh, it definitely needs to be a little bit sharper for the purpose so that it's intended, but you can easily do that. Uh, so if we kind of look down here, you'll get more of an idea about the curved spine and also the edge just pretty much follows that curve very similarly. So this is just a really cool knife. It's uh, neat, finish is cool. It's actually uh, seems pretty straight. 
as well. Um, and I know these are not easy to do with the, the hardening, pro or I should say the quench process to achieve that curve. I'm sure there are some wasted samples. Uh, but so this is excellent, excellent blacksmith blacksmithing and really a very interesting piece. Even if you may not be using this all the time, it's a really cool kind of collector piece as well because it's got that katana sword type look to it. So, or should I just call it a katana? I'm probably blowing the name there. So we'll just call it a katana. It's got that kind of look to it in a mini version. So really neat knife. So this is the Okada Shidogami number two, Takobiki or Takohiki 260 millimeter knife.